Why are these simulator games so addicting? Example, Farming Simulator 22. Oh great, isn't this a lovely start to the video? Oh, I didn't realize I could toggle the lights on and off in here. That's friggin' cool. I could have like a rave in here or something. So I recently started working at uh, Four Ball Fields as part of the groundskeeper crew. <laughs> this sounds kind of funny. It's like I'm gonna rip up the grass and take it home with me. And anyone who asks, I just get to say, I'm a groundskeeper, it's fine. But anyway, we take care of the fields, spray weeds, mow inside and outside of the fields too. Anyway, you would think by the time I'm done all of that, that uh, the last thing in the world that I'd want to do is more of that. But here I am playing this damn farming game and I've got 276 hours played so far. So far being emphasized because that number is only going to grow vastly in every direction. And I know those hours are nothing compared to the thousands of hours some people have played. But hey, no judgment here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video and wondering why these simulator games are just so addicting. I've been thinking for about five minutes probably, and I guess it's, it's just the gameplay that allows you to play at your own pace. And the detail in some of these games, it's just incredible how detailed some of these games are. And that dopamine boost you get when you've accomplished a certain task or a challenge even, if you're doing like a no man's land kind of challenge and some might enjoy these games a little too much to the point where it hurts their social life but i'm right there with you social life what social life anyway at work uh, there are two mowers one is a zero turn mower and uh well the other one is just a boring steering wheel but it turns out i weigh too little to operate the zero turn mower it has like a safety feature that kicks in if it doesn't detect enough weight on the seat but it also doesn't have a weight adjustment on the seat or anywhere on the mower that i could find so maybe i could try putting a slab of concrete on my lap or something i i don't know <laughs> but for now i'm stuck mowing outside of the fields like uh on the other side of the fence and that just sucks because there is a lot of grass out there like a lot of grass luckily we only have to cut that like once a week but i i still feel like that's once a week too many <laughs> but when i think about it i'm literally living a simulator life simulator game life right now you could probably call it like ball field maintenance simulator 24 or something stupid like that <laughs> but i just thought it was funny and sort of ironic how i come home from mowing grass all day to mowing grass in a f***ing simulator game and I'm not even mad about it. And another reason why I like these simulator games so much is because I can put on some music after a long day and just relax. I guess I kind of sort of wanted to talk about my new job a little bit. Just sucks that it's seasonal though. But who knows, maybe when that ends, my YouTube will be doing well and I'll get to virtually mow for a living. And before you ask, no, I'm not sponsored by Giants to say any of these nice things about Farming Simulator, but I mean... If they wanted to throw a sponsorship my way nah it's cool i just love these games so much i've been playing them since i think it was 13 back when i had a shitty little laptop that could barely handle it farmed at like 10 frames per second but i didn't care i was farming and having fun but this field is now done so i'm gonna fold my mower up and uh put it away i guess in that kick-ass shed over there that i got and yeah pay no attention to the almost 10 million dollars in the top right of the screen definitely didn't add a mod or anything like that to uh to give me all that that was completely legit actually before i park it in here i'm gonna go wash it with the new pressure washer i got damn that is looking fine uh i don't think it was smart to come down this way backing it up might be a little bit of a bitch probably should have went down that way and not the way i'm going with this river behind me actually i don't even think that's a river it might just oh my god I just wind rode my head off. Uh, it might have been at one point, but it's a little ditch now. Hey, a little ditch being a big bitch. <laughs> Folding is not allowed while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. Uh, what? Okay, now before I take this one over there. Okay, good, it works. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I, I have to get the machine that actually turns it into bales first. All right, let's drive this back there. And yes, I'm driving over this dude's field, but it's okay. I know him. He's my BFF, my my best farming friend. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you can lower it here and pick up the grass when it's all over like this. Yeah, but it's just easier if you make these rows and pick it up from there because you get to pick up more in just one little area. And now that's going to roll it and turn it into Marshall's Marshmallows. Get them while they're hot. Anyway, it's incredibly satisfying doing all of this just cutting the grass making these nice lines with the wind rower 
Uh, picking it up with the Baylor. Baylor? I hardly know her. <laughs> but nah, yeah, it's just super satisfying. Uh, I think I might have a problem though, so I'm just gonna stop playing, you know, put the controller down, go outside and touch some real grass. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to this corner of the internet, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.